You're watching Auto Nation All Access. Welcome back to Auto Nation All Access. I'm Romy Bean. Rapper's forward and homegrown talent Courtney Ford has had his 2018 season on hold after suffering an MCL sprain earlier this month. Courtney is currently rehabbing and his knee should be back on the field sometime in May. But as Michael Spencer explains, an MCL tear is nothing compared to the fight Courtney and his mom Lori have been going through. I'm telling you, so incredible. I appreciate it. Of course. Love you so much. We first introduced you to Courtney Ford and his mom, Lori, last spring when we caught up with him for a Rapids home game. Can she test them here? Courtney, who was 21 at the time, was in the middle of his first season with the club. The homegrown player has got his first ever goal in Major League Soccer. While Courtney was enjoying success on the field, he and his mom had been going through hell off of it. In February of 2017, Courtney's aunt Joe, who helped raise him, died after a battle with liver cancer. That same week, Courtney's mom, who had battled breast cancer in 2009, found out her cancer had metastasized in her bones. It was just shocking. We didn't really know how to deal with it. Um, at first, I didn't know the severity of it, so I was just like, oh, here we go again. We just got to go through chemo and radiation again. Um, but at the end of the day, we found out that it was a lot more severe. The doctors initially gave Lori three to six months to live. Treatments for her type of cancer can often cost upwards of $10,000 a month. In an effort to help with the expenses, the Fords launched a GoFundMe page. Through fan support and the support of the Rapids, they raised more than $22,000. Last year, the fans were incredible. The coaching staff, the community itself, um, friends, family, and even strangers, you know. Um, but the Rapids community as a whole coming together and um, raising awareness for the GoFundMe page, raising her some money so that she could pay for medical bills. Um, if it weren't for that, she probably wouldn't be here today. Toward the end of 2017, Lori's cancer levels had decreased. But earlier this month, Courtney announced on Twitter that Lori's cancer had outsmarted the drugs and that doctors had again given her three to six months to live. We had a conversation. We didn't really want to get the, the Rapids involved again. Um, you know, she feels bad that they've already done so much, and that goes with the coaching staff, the players, um, who have raised money, the fans, and the community as a whole. So they've already done so much. So she felt really guilty um, about me putting the page back out there. But that's something that I had to do um, as a son because like, I wanted to live and I wanted to get these treatments that's gonna give her a chance. You ever sit there and think, why me? You know, I mean, it always crosses your mind. It always crosses her mind. Um, but at the end of the day, we, there's no time to think like that. If we do, um, you know, she could be gone in a couple months. I was an only child. Um, my mom, she was, the only, she was a single mom, so it's been a hard realization knowing that there's a chance that she won't get to see my kids, she won't get to see me be married. Um, my kids won't have grandparents because my dad's not involved either. So it's just a tough realization for me, but I'm, in, I'm surrounded by an incredible club. I have my teammates to lean on, um, I have my coaching staff to lean on, and I have the community itself to lean on. Due to scheduling constraints, Lori was unable to be interviewed for our story, but she's still working teaching middle school math. To learn more about Lori's story and find out how you can help donate, visit CBSDenver.com.